Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here. Today I'll be doing some technical analysis and also a price prediction on Centric Swap or CNS. If you would like to make up to $1,000 for free in bonuses, just join the Maxi Global in the link in the description. If you would also like access to my automated 80% win rate Bitcoin trading bot that I did actually code myself, you can check out my pinned video on my channel or the Patreon link in the description. Okay, so we're starting off here on CNS versus USDT on the 8R. And as you can see, CNS has just continued to come down here and make new lower lows. Now, ever since losing these previous lows that we made there on the 21st of August, we did come down here and lose that property there on the 30th of August. And ever since then, we have been coming down and not actually flipping those previous lows to support. Then we made new lows here, flipped to resistance, then we didn't actually manage to push up and regain that, made new lows, came down here, and this is the first time we've actually had an 8R close there above the previous lows that we did print, and we have actually tried to regain it a few times since. Now, if we do take a look at this moving average, this is our 50 SMA here, and we haven't really managed. We had a slight deviation there on the 5th of October as well as the 9th of September there, but I would say, so we have come down here and we have retested these lows that we made there on the 13th of October. We did have a slight deviation there below and we have actually been bought back up here and flipped this 8 EMA to support. Now, if we do manage to get a close above that in three hours and 12 minutes, I would be expecting us to sort of hold this 8 EMA around this level and then at least push up towards this POC, which is also confident with our 50 SMA. Now, if we do see a deviation come back down, start to sell off again, we could easily come down and see new lower lows, but I would like to at least see a retest of this level that we did make there on the 29th of September. Now, if we do come up here, this would be probably a good area to take yourself some profits, but if you do manage to see us push up above this level, say we do sort of break up here, reject off this level, hold the POC as as well as our 50 moving average then we do move up here make another higher low compared to back here and then i would say we should at least be pushing up towards this level at around 0.00163 cents now a test of these lows could be on the cards if btc does manage to hold we haven't really had a significant pump from cns since we have started bleeding heavily even if we do move from our current prices towards this level, that would be around a 13% gain there, which would be a nice place, as I said, to book some profits. But say we do manage to come up here and flip this level to support, then a move towards here would actually return you around 65%, which is also fairly confident with this 200 moving average. Say we do come up here, come back down, get the retest of that 200 moving average, make another higher low, and then maybe push up here. We might see a deviation of that level, come down, bearish retest, and then continue down. It really does depend on BTC, as I did say, but in my opinion we are due a bear market rally as i've said in plenty of videos before i do expect btc to push up towards at least the mid 20k range or a 25 26k and if that does happen i would say cns could easily be pushing up towards this level and maybe even towards those previous lows that we created back there in august which would be around a 114 percent move now if this does happen i'm not saying that we are going to continue to new highs if btc hits the mid 20k range i do expect it to reject off those levels move down and make new lower lows now if that is the case i would expect cns we could run a fib here um, we could even take it from this low that we made there the other day all the way up towards this high and if we do take a look at some of these levels this could show us where cns would continue down to if btc pushes towards 14k so if you do see us come up here reject off this level and we do manage to lose these previous lows that we did make there get that bearish retest then you could be laddering your buy orders from around this 1.38 to maybe even the whole way down there to around that 2.118. Now, I really don't expect CNS to be pushing any lower than this level. That is absolutely nothing. I do think we are coming close to a bottom here for CNS. Even if Bitcoin does keep pushing lower, there isn't really that much more money can pour out of CNS, which does make the risk to reward a good bit in our favor. So that is a price prediction to the upside if BTC does manage to rally, and then our lower end targets if we do manage to continue to the downside. Now, if we quickly take a look here at BTC, I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, we have seen a nice pump off this level. I have been talking about this a good few times in the previous videos. This parallel channel, once we do manage to break above this, I was expecting a retest of this level. As you can see, we came up and tested that perfectly. I was saying we could come up here, come back down, retest this level before continuing on up and tackling this trend line as well as the upper range of this level. Now, if we do manage to push up here and flip this to support, then I would say there isn't really much between us pushing up to at least around this 24K level. And this is where you could start to take yourself some profits and maybe even flip short. 
But as I did mention, I could see BTC extend here up towards 26, 27K. But if we do manage to reach these levels, definitely do book yourself some profits and then I would be flipping short myself. All right, lower side targets for BTC, as I did mention, I would be targeting around 14K down towards 12K here. I do realistically expect 13.8K to hold and I'll show you my reason for that now. So if we do take a look at the BLX here on the weekly, as you can see, I have drawn up some box support here, which we are currently playing around right now. Now we did lose this macro trend line that we did have, but it could be a deviation. We could come up here, flip this to support and then continue on up. But in my opinion, I would say it is more likely that we do reject off this level, come down and at least sweep these lows at around 13.9K. Now I did have this ghost bar pattern drawn up here. It was from these lows that we made there. We did see a huge sell off there and that did mark our lows there back in December 2018. If we do actually see something like this play out, that would extend us down there towards 11.4K, which is also some solid support there that we do have. So you could be laddering your buy orders, even from around here down towards 11.8K. No one knows what's gonna happen. We could rally from here, but I am expecting lower prices from BTC. And if we do see this ghost pattern play out, that would push us up here, reject off that trend line, come back down, test these lows, and then actually continue on up to around 150K. Now this would sort of line up with our 2024 halving there. After that does happen, that does start the new bull run. So just bear that in mind, this could be something, now it won't be exactly the same as this obviously, but something like this could definitely play out. There is a good bit of price action around the levels that I do have drawn up here. So hopefully something like this can actually happen in the coming years. Now, we'll move over here to CoinMarketCap really quick and take a look at some of the fundamentals and tokenomics of CNS. So taking a look at this, as you can see, we are sitting at rank number 2,205. We are at 0 0.00000963 we're up 2.84% there in the last 24 hours. Our market cap is so small here. It is sitting at $70,800. Our circulating supply is 7.34 billion. And then our total supply is 1.1 trillion. Now if we move down here, our all time high is sitting at around, let me see, uh, 1.83 cents there. And that was on August 3rd, 2020. And we are down 99.95% from those highs. Now, if you do want to do a small read, you can have a read through coin market caps right up here. Just pause the video. Or if you would like to do a little bit more fundamental research, you can move on up here to their website, which is centric.com. Over here, you'll find out everything that you need to know to make your decision on whether you would actually like to invest in this. Now, if you do come over here, you will see calculate your yield. And this is mainly why people actually do invest in this. If you buy your CNS and convert it to CNR, then you will actually yield 168% every 12 months so if you do come over here and figure that you do actually want to buy yourself some of this you can move back on over to coin market cap click on markets and this will show you where you can actually do so i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out i love you all peace <laughs>